So, last one, uh, after we finish the six, now uh, here is mentioned that he wants frequent ask question. Uh, I just pick up some of the FAQ that frequently, uh, normally people will ask uh, and show to you. Okay, here the mention is all the company required to key in the new SSN number or old SSN number. Here the answer is new SSN number. Remember, make sure you use the new SSN number, not the old SSN number. Okay, for the thing number for individual, now already become IG, uh, no more OG, no more SG. Uh. Next time you want to issue e invoice to your customer, it's individual, make sure all is with IG, all right? Do business need to submit e invoice within the same day? So the answer is there is no specific requirement on timing. But but of course, we uh, encourage you to submit within the day. Or if let's say today cannot finish, maybe the next day. Don't drag until too long because you know that when the time income tax validate your invoice, they will have a date time to validate your invoice. If you wait too long, after one month only, you issue back the invoice, maybe it will be questioned by the income tax. All right? What is the time frame to issue invoice adjustment? So there's no time frame for you to adjustment. Huh? After the invoice complete, you want to do the adjustment, you can do any time. Okay? Because this adjustment maybe after one month, after two months, after three months, or maybe after one year. So we can do uh, any time. As long as you must uh, measure when you issue the adjustment, there be no credit note, make sure you have a reference number, refer back to which e invoice that you can open. Prior to the full implementation, they might have a supplier who do not issue invoice. So uh, in the first part, I mentioned there's three phase, right? Phase one, phase two, phase three. Maybe some of the businesses, they are under phase one, some under phase two, some under phase three. When the phase one company they implement first started on 1st August 2024, maybe all their supplier, maybe part of their supplier is under phase two, under phase three, right? So it's, it's then the first phase one supplier uh, customer, they need to implement all their uh, sales. Of course, all their sales need to invoice. All their purchase and the expenses part, they still can accept normal invoice as the supporting document until the fully implement. Starting from 1st July 2025 onward, at the time when all the business start invoice, so all the sales, all the purchase and expenses must be some uh, uh must be supported by the invoice. All right. Do buyer need to issue shell bill invoice to record expenses when dealing with the supplier located in the rural area? So uh as that there is mentioned here that if let's say you have a supplier, you have a uh supplier is a rural area, they have an internet issue, uh, they are unable to issue invoice on time to you. I, can you issue cell bill to you to record out this is your transaction? Answer is no. Huh? If let's say your customer is doing business, it's a company, it's a sole proprietor, it's a partnership, you know your customer and uh, your supplier is a company. You cannot issue cell bill to yourself, but you must ask them to issue invoice to you. Understand? Huh? Right. With the, will the supplier invoice number remain in the invoice number or with a different invoice number? Here. Your invoice number will be the same. You can re still remain in the uh, invoice that you e invoice because this is uh, your internal reference number. Okay. But after validate, income tax will give another number we call the unique identification number. What is the e invoice treatment for deposit? Okay. For deposit, you need to understand, uh, you need to find out whether it's a refundable or non refundable deposit. If let's say this is refundable deposit, there's no required to issue invoice because this deposit you receive from customer, it just uh, uh, keep it and then later on will be returned. So you're, you're not required to issue invoice. But if let's say this deposit is part of the down payment, part of the non-refunded deposit, so you are required to issue invoice. Is an invoice required to be returned for return of, uh, of money to buyer. Yes, refund note is the invoice required for refund payment to return money to the buyer, your customer. But the following condition following here is not required to issue refund note, uh, like payment made wrongly by the buyer, overpayment by the buyer, return of uh, 
refundable deposit to the buyer. So this type of uh, transaction, you are not required to issue refund. For the purpose of issue shall build, can the Malaysian buyer consolidated all in one receipt from the same foreign supplier? So here is mentioned, uh, during the month, maybe you have one uh, few importation supplier, uh, importation invoice from the same supplier. Can you combine all and issue one sell bill to yourself? The answer is no. You need to issue separately one by one because every sell bill invoice, you need to state down your supplier invoice number. Understand? Huh? You must uh, separately issue one by one. Cannot combine until one, even though it's under the same supplier. Is e-invoice required for inter-department, inter-division transaction? Here is mentioned some of the businesses, they might have a many outlet like you there. The HQ in KL, they might be have an outlet in PJ, outlet in Cheras, outlet in other places. So when the time there's HQ supply goes to all the outlet, is the HQ need to issue e-invoice to all the outlet? So the question, the answer here is actually this is within the company. Supposedly not require each not required to issue invoice to your company yourself. But if let's say you have a practice, you want to issue invoice, also no issue. They say depending on your business practice. If let's say you want to issue because you want to record down your sales transaction for the each department, so you can just do it uh, follow your normal practice. It's an individual landlord required to issue invoice to the tenant for rental or property. Okay, if your land individual landlord is conducting a business, then e invoice is required to issue. If an individual landlord is not conducting a business, then you issue sell bill to yourself. So how to know whether this individual landlord? Of course, you need to ask. Huh? You need to ask the uh, landlord whether they they're going to issue e invoice to you or not. If let's say they say no, then you issue sell bill to yourself. In relation to the importation and export exportation. So, is the taxpayer required to provide copy or invoice to the custom when do the custom clearance? So, income tax say this one subject to the custom requirement. If let's say custom say they require for you to provide the invoice, then you need to give them the invoice. Huh? So, same here. It uh, depends on the custom. If let's say custom require, then you need to give them. Huh? If not required, then you just give it. Can the company use a combination of transmission to issue invoice? Yes, test player can use two different platforms. Let's say, Lee, but Lee, I use API. Lee, I use my invoice to issue invoice. No problem. Just make sure there's no duplicate. After you issue invoice, e invoice in the my invoice, make sure don't issue another in your API. Uh, make sure no duplicate. duplicate. But you, you can use uh, both 